And I know it's warm you are where you are, but it's a little bit cold where I am, so I need to warm up a little bit. So from rubbing your hands together, let's clap the hands together. So a little bit of space between your hands there, almost like you're catching the air in between. And of course, what we're activating here as well is we're activating our lagoon point in the center of the hand. And after we've activated hands a little bit, we're going to come up and just wake up through the face and your head doing a little bit of raking through your hair, stimulating the scalp, helping the venous drainage from the brain. Good. And then a little bit of raindrops on your head over your frontal area. That's where your cortex is. And your temporal bones a little bit further back. Ox occiput right at the back. You can talk a little deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And then over the forehead, a little bit lighter. So if you've had any frowns or screwing up your face a little bit, it's going to relax that. Round your jaw. Go behind the neck. You can even do a little bit of massage from side to side. And drop your head forwards a little bit and with your thumb, massage where the base of the skull just overlaps that first vertebra. Do some nice, long, slow, deep pressure in there. It's all the little tiny muscles that turn your head insert there and those muscles are actually called by a lady called Janice Travell who started a lot of the trigger point therapy as they're known as the headache ghosts because when you're tight here you get a lot of headaches those headaches can go over the eyes as well all right a little bit of massage of your ears just pull your ears all the way around Think it nice and warm and relax. Good into Qigong position, soft knees, soft ankles, drop your tailbone, open the lumbar spine hanging down. Little gap between your axillas, little space of the squash ball. Tuck your chin in, head lifted up, neck getting longer. One hand on the belly, one hand on the heart, and we're going to do stoking the fire. So when we think about the fire element in the body, it's the heart up here. And the meridian that pairs with the heart is a small intestine. So small intestine heart as we're breathing. And so we're going to breathe into the belly. Nice deep breath into the belly. Belly rises, breathe out. And to stoke the fire, we breathe in. And then a, a hard exhale. <sighs> We're going to do about six of those, so in through the nose. Long exhale. And hold your breath. Now through your nose, in and out, long exhales, in and out. Breathing in. Just gonna do three. Okay, we're gonna fan the fire again. Long exhale, hold your breath.
And three long, slow and deep breaths in and out through the nose. So last one, breathe in. Next one, long, long exhale. Hold your breath. And let's have three long, slow and deep breaths in and out through the nose. Okay, so what are we trying to do when we fan the fire? We want to increase the metabolism of the gut. So we talk about the small intestine, get a bit of fire in there. So if you had a sluggish gut, this would be a very good thing to do. If you had constipation, it would be a very good thing to do. And if you were going to a banquet, it would also be a good thing to do before the banquet, but not straight afterwards. If we think a little bit about the breathing we're doing here, you often see Vim Hop is doing, he's holding here and he's holding here. When we're doing this exercise, we're feeling the belly come in and out, but we're feeling the chest being still, okay? So when Vim Hop is breathing, he's breathing into the belly and then all the way up, 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 and then a short exhale. So he's actually doing a cyclical or a cyclical hyperventilation that's not what we're doing here we're actually exaggerating the exhale so it's bringing us into a relaxation but it's also we're working with that strong exhale we actually have a lot of metabolic fire going on in the gut so just thinking when you're breathing we're doing different things we can do different things with our body with these little um, entrance points particularly with breathing okay lift your hands up on top of your head Ah, oh, I think I've got a dog behind me. There we go. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Drop your tailbone. And tuck your chin in so your spine's long, long, long. And then turn first in the lumbar spine, thoracic spine, and then the cervical to the neck, coming back to center. This can be a breath in. Let's do in and out through the mouth. I mean, not through the mouth, through the nose. Breathe in, breathe out, turn, turn, turn. Coming back to center. When you come back to center, you're going to lift your heels so that your weight goes through the front part of the foot. So you're lifting your bubbling spring, which is kidney one, and try and get your weight bearing mostly through the big toe and not through the little toes. It's your strongest muscle, that muscle that works the big toe. And now let's go to the side. And come up again. And go to the side. And come up again. And bring your arms down. Shake it out a little bit. And up we go again. So as you're coming, feel as if you're like you're your skin's all crinkly and you're stretching it out so it's nice and straight and your fascia's getting nice and lengthened. Ah, oh, right, and through your back as well. And breath in and breathe out and turn. See if we can go a little bit further around this time, starting with the lumbar spine. I can definitely go a bit further this time. Breathing in, coming back. And breathing out opposite side. Look where you're going. You always go further. Back to center. Slowly put the weight through the front pads of the foot. Get your balance there. Soften your knees a little bit and over to the side. Try and stay with your heels off if you can. And up. Over. And up, and down you come. 
Check it out. Feel this body softening a little bit as you're doing the stretching. Let's do one more of those. Up you go. Tailbone settled down, feet, feet rooted, chin tucked in, breathe in, breathe out and turn. Slowly coming back. Keep that weight more on the big toe around to the other side. Oh, sorry, we're going over. <laughs> We're going over, coming back, over to the other side, coming back, and down, right, Ooh. good, rub your hands together again, so when we're thinking, we're thinking about dragon a little bit, we think about fire, but a lot of dragons swim in water as well, so we think the fire element and the water element, which actually is its balancing partner. So we're thinking about the kidney. So let's take our warm hands and rub over your kidney. And now you can take your knuckles, if you like, and rub over the kidney. And keeping your knuckles on your kidney, Tuck your tailbone under, lean slightly forwards, and you're going to bring one hip to the front. Your head is going to stay looking straight ahead of you, and you're going to be twisting your spine to bring your hip forward, but keep your leg, your head, looking straight ahead. See if you can do that. Come back. Breathe in. Try and breathe into the kidneys, deeply into the belly, and then through to the back of the lungs. Breathe out, keep your head looking straight. So you're actually bringing your shoulder towards your head. Called Sassy Dragon, this movement. Rub your kidneys again. And turn, keeping your head looking straight ahead. It's, it's quite difficult to separate that movement into head forward, but hip rotating forwards, but head not turning to the side, coming back, other side. Keep your tailbone tucked in. You keep your tailbone tucked in, it lengthens the lumbar spine. So when you twist, you don't irritate your spine. Rub your kidneys again. Rub them with your knuckles a little bit harder. Get a bit of warmth built up there. Copper's trying to do the same thing. <laughs> And tuck tailbone under, lean slightly forwards, and turn. Come back. Last one, turn. And come back and relax. Good. Okay. With your feet together and your knees bent and your hands together, we're going to start with a closed stance to do swimming dragon. And we're going to start by doing a circle to bring the energy in towards our body as we do the dragon movement. And we'll start with your head almost resting on your hands and then soften your knees, soften your knees. Let your arms scoop out and collecting the energy from nature around you, wherever you are. Bring it back to your heart. Stretching out. Bring it back. We'll do three times or so as you get the feel of the movement. Drop your head to the side. It's actually really nice. It's a nice position to start dropping and bringing that chi to your heart. Now we're going to go down to the solar plexus. So solar plexus just below the sternum there. So in the middle, bringing she inside and circulating outwards, coming back in. Really good exercise for your knees as well. And then we're going to go one stage lower to the lower dante and just below the navel and scooping from there, bring it in. 
scooping, bring it in, and one more, and bring it in. Keep your hands together, and now we're going to go to the other side. So opposite side, let your ear lean almost against your hand, and scooping out, and bring the chi to your heart. Scooping, bend your knees, coming back. Scooping, bend your knees, coming back. Now we're going to go to solar plexus, so a little bit lower down. It's very good for the mobilization of your spine. All the little joints. One more. Okay, and then bringing the energy into the dantian, low down, just below the navel, down, two, three, okay, and then in this position, slowly straighten up, keeping your knees bent, and let's really push the hands together, and let the dragon swim. So let the dragon start right down at the bottom. Remember your hands are moving, but your spine is also moving. It's not just the arms. Slowly come up. Right above your head. And when you get right above your head, come up on your toes again. Go in the opposite direction. What your opposite, what direction you went in, but let's do a second one. Round, round. Feel your spine rotating joint by joint, especially when you get up to the thoracic spine, because that's where we often really stiff. And hands above your head, up on your toes, and come down. Keep your hands where they are, just in front of the heart there, and step out. Soften your tailbone, sink your hips, and open your heart to the sky. Breathe in, and breathe out. Sink your chest, let your head come down. Breathe in, you can take your hands forwards and then out, coming back. Breathe in and stand up a little bit as you breathe in. And you can sink down your hips and your knees as you come down so that we slowly get stronger in the squatting position. Coming up, turn the heel, toe, turn the heel back and bring your hands onto the front leg. So bending the front leg, getting a position that feels comfortable and safe for you. And elbows in at the sides, and we're gonna do powerful dragons. So one hand pushes forwards as the other hand pulls back. One hand pushes forwards, the other one turns and comes back. Get as much weight as you can on the front leg. And if you really have good balance, you can actually allow yourself to just be on your toes on the back heel. So Eric can probably do that, but I certainly can't, okay. Okay, so it'll be in breath, out breath. Breathe out through your mouth, breathe in through your nose. Feel as if you're pushing something really heavy and feel as if you're pulling something really heavy and let your eyes fix on a point in the distance in front of you. So we know whenever we focus on a point really intensely, that brings our concentration up hugely. And that's one of Hubermann's visual 
hex for concentration. So if you're losing your concentration when you're working, just do something like that for a while and you'll find it will really help you. Both elbows in, turn your feet forwards, other heel back, hands together, and breathe in, and breathe out. Breathing in, making space for your lungs, space for your heart, soften your shoulders, drop your tailbone, lift your head up, breathing out, open the space between your shoulder blades at the back, breathing in. Out. In. Breathing out. Turning on the heel. Turning a toe so the heel goes back. Bring your hands onto your front knee. Putting a little bit more weight on the front knee. Lifting up the back heel if you're happy with that. Otherwise, just keep your back foot flat. Elbows at your side. And pushing, pulling back. Pushing, pulling back. So in breath, out breath. Out breath through the mouth. Feel your stability, feel your rootedness. Let your eyes gaze into a fixed point. Both elbows to your sides and turn on your heels forwards, hands together. Just at the level of the sternum and do a little bit of breathing into the belly. Just long, slow and deep. Holding up a lot of internal strength with this set that we're doing now. Put your hands move down to the little fingers along the groin crease, along your quad. So we're going to turn the waist, twist the palm, and push palm. So little finger leads the way as our waist turns, and you push. Coming back. The small intestine meridian runs down to the little finger. So there's some important points on the edge of the little finger for neck ache, headache, and also bring a strength into the heart meridian. It's an out breath as you push, come back. Feel that this push is coming from your waist. So it's like the power is coming from your waist but emanating through your hand and feel your lagung point activated as you push. A martial arts move this one is. Keep your elbow dropped. Don't allow your hand to go up too high. And you definitely don't have a straight arm there. Power is in your flexibility.
coming back to center, bend your knees, maybe a tiny bit wider. See if you can sink down a little bit lower. And the next one is turn your head and twist your tail to balance your heart fire. So we're going to let your tail go to the side and twist your head at the same time. And this is the one where we have a breath in and you breathe out like the dragon is just pushing out that extra fire, maybe burning a little hole in the grass there. And then coming up as you breathe in and then we go around to the other side. So you have a breath in here and breathe out. Looking down as your flames go out, just balancing your heart fire. Too much heat there, just spew it out there. Maybe light somebody's cooking fire. In breath as you come up. Out breath all the way through the mouth. Look at that toe, the next toe, the next toe round, and then come up, breathe in. Big breath, breathe out. So, your heart, any impatience, any irritability, any stuckness of the fire, it's not burning properly. It's not a lovely hot fire that's like the glow of the coals and the fire at night. Just warm and cozy, friendly. And coming up, slowly bring your feet back in together and have a little chi ball there. And so the dragon's really happy, <laughs> strong, he's got good fire. And um, it's a bit of water around there if he needs it. And he's going to play with the chi ball. So feel the logong points in the middle of the palm connecting to each other as you move your hands in and out. Almost as if it's a sticky bit of toffee you have to pull out. And as if they're the same pole magnets when you push together opening and closing. And then whenever you go with the one hand, see if you can follow with the other hand. So you might decide to take your ball up there, behind you, wherever it needs to go, maybe down here. But the whole time your hands are staying connected, just feel that connection. Feel the warmth in your hands building up. Small intestine meridian coming all the way down to the little finger and the heart meridian as well. Small intestine on the outside of the little finger, heart meridian in the front of the little finger. Let that ball get a little bit bigger. Turning it. Bring one hand to the belly, one hand over the heart. So a small intestine and heart there. Just close your eyes for a few seconds. Just feel the connection. Of course, we're Lining up over the central meridian in the front, called the Ren meridian. Okay, and drop your arms. And let's go straight into the opening Tai Chi movement. Letting your hands float up with the breath and float down with the heart breath. So hardly using any energy at all to do that, just going with your own body's movement there. Movements coming through from the body into the arms, in and out through the nose. Really working on building energy into the palms. Your fingers come up last, your fingers go down last. 
Notice how your elbows move and the elbows move down first and then the fingers come down. Leave one hand down, the other hand comes up. Kuan Yin's reindeer, Kuan Yin paints the reindeer. So you're feeling into the energy field right around you, above you, behind you, down at your feet, and you come up, and both hands come up together, turn and go down. Let's just do a couple of together again, breathing in, breathing out, in and out through the nose. So the other hand goes up on its own, reaching out, just like we reached out with the dragon, gathering energy from around us, behind us, below us, and come up. Sometimes we gather energy from the environment. Sometimes we stoke it up inside ourselves. Sometimes we get energy from other people, or not, or the opposite. Reach up, reach down, watch your hand as you go round, up, and down. Let's do a couple more together. Leave one hand down in front of you, sky above you, behind you. Bend down, scoop up. And um, let's put one hand on the belly. The other hand is going to do some centering, just center all this energy we've worked with. Scooping out again and centering. Soften your tailbone, keep your chin tucked in, long spine, feet grounded, head lifted up to the sky. Now, as the one hand comes down, the other hand goes up, and you win more. One hand going down, the other hand coming up inside it. Very good for your brain. Both hands on the dantian, hands to the side, and pulling down the heavens, breathing in, feeling the earth, big turn, feeling nature around you, and then reaching up to the sky, the heavens, any higher wisdom or power, and just giving yourself a good mix and let it come through your body like a waterfall cleansing your body giving a bit more, as much energy as you need. In. Breathing out, your hands come back onto your belly, low dantian, feet together. Oh, close your eyes, soften your ankles, soften your knees, tailbone drop down. Notice how your body feels. Notice your balance through the feet. Allow your face to soften. Feel as if a gentle sun is shining on your face. Soften your jaw, your forehead. Just notice your breathing. Now to be long, slow, and deep. Just anchoring your focus back inside your body for a few more seconds, watching the breath. And just have a sense of one gratitude you've had today. 
just feel as you have that gratitude that there's a bit of smile on your face and that sunshine shines a little bit brighter. And drop your hands, your eyes, 